Hey people, what's going on guys? It's Bando back, and uh, this time, take a little drive, get out of school early today because my teacher canceled class. So, isn't it always awesome when somebody cancels class? I'm just gonna go the other way. Because those guys, yep, there you go. Now you're looking at my campus. <laughs> Going to work. Got out of school early. Yeah. Nice Z. 350 Z. Parked here like every day. Yeah, good thing I went this way. Always look over your shoulder. <laughs> so, in the meanwhile, I'm currently driving in the Highlander. It's a 2003 Toyota Highlander. Nothing special, really. V6, two-wheel, front-wheel drive. It's all right. Pretty good gas mileage. Pretty good pickup. It's better than uh, driving the tank that I have. <laughs> my brother had to go. My brother's in the city today. He's at University of Illinois Chicago for a robotics competition this weekend. So. It's pretty awesome. And um, also, if you guys seen my Blazer video that was a few months back, uh, my brother Trevor, that's his, that's his Blazer, made the cover of LMC Truck Magazine for the spring edition. So if you guys know what LMC Truck is, it's pretty much a big giant magazine. It's a giant magazine full for... Uh, Blazers, S10 pickups from, you know, of all makes and models. You know, it's crazy. My brother, they got a call a couple months back, said we wanted to do a spring article. What can you do for us? Can you get us a picture of your truck? Because he put this story on LMC Truck's website. So he said, okay, sure. We went and took a couple photos and sent them in. And uh, he just got the magazine yesterday and... I think it's pretty damn cool. I think it, it, it's and it's and it's just weird because you never think to yourself you're gonna not not only that and then the day prior to that he made the uh, Lockport's newspaper, Lockport Legend. He made the front page of the newspaper for going down to to do the robotics competition. So that was really kind of cool. He made two covers in two days. That's what I call it. So. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy for him. I mean, he needed this because I mean, I don't even know if he has it. he fully sucked, sunk in when he made the when he made the cover of LMC Truck Magazine. Like he's just like he's just like all right, cool. Like he didn't even like he wasn't even like all shocked or all excited about it either. So yeah, but you know, his truck got in an accident about a month ago. So right now it's in the shop getting fixed up by the guy who painted it for him. So. I hope that all goes well. Yeah, so I'm just driving, going to work, probably pit some food. Scare the people in the drive-thru again. Because, <laughs> like, why the people, when they go, they're like, what the hell is that? That was a camera. Why? Oh, I'm just recording my ride home. So, yeah, that's really much my, my main topic that I wanted to really spoke to speak on is my brother and his behalf of his truck and all other good stuff and school yeah my teacher decided to put on our internet site angel uh that's like it's like a system that keeps the school like you're new and no, tied in with the school and all your teachers and stuff and that way you know what you're doing in your assignments and he posted on his angel that yesterday his basement flooded so he's canceled class and he pushed the exam that we had back another day because of it because he couldn't make it to class which sucks I've known I've been there I've definitely been there flooded basements suck I mean they really do like it, it takes for, especially when your basement's redone like you have you know uh, you have carpeting and drywall and all that other good stuff and electronics down there. That really sucks. And that's what happened to us a 
few years ago. Basement flooded. We had to scramble to get everything out of the way because the sub pump battery backup failed, which that's never a good thing. So, so my friend, my friend class, he's like, "Yeah, dude, school got canceled." Blah blah blah. I'm like, "Oh shit, class got canceled. All right, cool. I'm leaving. Bye." <laughs> so I was on my hour break. not bad. Highlighter. Oh my god, yes! Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, that's... Oh, I want one of those so bad. <laughs> Challenger. That's my color, too. Midnight purple or plum crazy purple. God! And it's an SRT8 version. Probably, I don't know if it's the 392 or if it's the... The other... V8, the other, I don't know. Oh, dude, turn. God, I love those cars. And they've been stalking me, like, all the time. And that's the second time this week, I think, I've seen that color Challenger in an SRT8 format. I think that's, it's specifically an only an SRT8 color, I think, is the purple. I can't find any purple challengers that are in a in that are, are an rt or an se or an sxt version sorry i kind of like freaked out but i i just i want one of those so bad now because i don't have a car so i'm saving for one that's pretty cool all eds in the murano or i don't know what that was i thought it was a murano it's probably not though okay bro And then you got the classic Suburban. Yeah, like the 1980s style Suburban. Those things are still kicking, man. Things are old. Probably gonna go to McDonald's again. I know I hate doing that, but I, I just want to start saving money though. And I figure, figure if I can, if it costs me three dollars and a quarter for lunch, that's starting to save somewhere, right? Instead of paying seven dollars a day if you're going for lunch anywhere else. It also depends on what you get too, but. I'm hoping to get some core cruising videos up and all that other type of stuff. I think it'll be fun. A lot of my other friends have been trying to, they've been getting GoPros lately too, so we want to try to do a collaboration video and stuff like that. I think it'll be fun. Just don't wait for the weather to start picking up. We finally had the first decent day here in Illinois since like six months ago I think it was like 65 a couple days ago and it was like oh my god it was long overdue to have it that warm I mean, you, we could be sitting in, the, in my friend's garage with the garage door open and none of us were cold usually we were freezing our asses off But yeah, I, I want a Challenger. I know my dad's not going to let me get an SRT8. <laughs> we, uh, we discussed, well, we discussed that partially on and off. I just keep telling him before I wanted like a 3000 GT or a Dodge Stealth. And then I'm like, now I'm thinking, well, maybe I should just wait and just go with a higher end car. A newer vehicle. That way it's not as, I mean, no, I'm not buying a new, a brand new 2014 Challenger those the RTs are probably running at least 30 grand so there's no way in hell I'm buying an RT brand new off the lot uh, I'm trying to look for somewhere below 25 if it's an RT I want to be below 25 if I can if it's an SE or an SXT I'd probably have to be below 20 grand 
but it's just hard to find them that are that cheap that would they're that are not beat to hell or gotten an accident or something eBay doesn't really help I mean it does and doesn't though Craigslist same thing my buddy Joe that's where he bought his uh his Eclipse off of was Craigslist he got it for like eleven hundred dollars that was such a steal for to get that car it was not even beat up at all it's really nice and he's slowly but surely he's getting money to work on it and put it together it's a 98 Eclipse body's good I bought like half his parts for his car because he had no money <laughs> but he said he paid me back so so it's it's a project car we're probably gonna have a we're gonna probably have a, a video on that too like once he gets it pretty much all done a transformation video from like day one till you know the day he finishes it He's already got majority of the parts on it the car's only he's only had the car in his possession for like in three days it'll be two months so i think that's pretty outstanding I'm trying to put a spoiler on it uh it came with a stock like little spoiler i don't know what you i don't know but he wants to put the gsx swing and i bought him a gsx swing with a couple of my friends I uh, pitched in for his birthday and we bought him a GSX wing and I, he pretty much almost flat fell flat on his ass once I freaking gave him the box and said here open it I gave him two boxes one box included it had a set of halo headlights in there the other one was the spoiler box that we all bought him and he just he pretty much died Eve, he was so happy that he he, could, he couldn't speak at all. So I thought it was hilarious. And then he got even more excited when I told him that everybody helped. Because he never had somebody do that for him before. So I thought it was pretty cool. Oh, crap. Oh, go this way. I was, like, thinking I was, I was trying to go this certain way. So I wanted to do, like, a 0 to 60. And I went the wrong way. <laughs> I'm so used to going this way to go home. Nice color for a dart. Yep. Five guys. Lone Star. Applebee's. Chipotle. Pizza Hut. McDonald's. I'm not going to this McDonald's. I'm going to the one that's closer to my work. Wendy's, Taco Bell. They got a lot of stuff down here on my way home. Like, I'd just be like, we're stopping any of these. So many choices. Everywhere. Yeah, that's what he wants. That's going to be probably the most expensive thing for his car, for my buddy's car. It's probably going to be the rims. He wants to change those out. He wants to get... He's got a set of 14s now. I think he wants to get 17s for them. And it's a good reason, too, too, because the car sits so damn low with the 14s on it. Doesn't look like it even fills the wheel well. So he scrapes, like, wherever he goes. It's not his fault, either. It's goddamn tire sizes. There's a charger. always like chargers too I'm just waiting for that warmer temperature should be coming soon oh the GoPro app decided to finally work <laughs> So I have my Mokia Lumia 1020 and I can actually see what's going on. So yeah, that doesn't look bad. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. I just wanted to know how the camera was gonna look, and it was taking forever to figure out you know how the hell it was gonna look. I'm sitting there in the school parking lot for like five minutes. I'm like, come on, Wi-Fi, why aren't you working right now? 
Speak to me! Damn it! <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait. I mean, we're gonna have a lot of, I'm hoping to have a lot of car meet videos and all that other type of stuff again, but I'm hoping to do a lot better job than what I started to, and the only way you're gonna learn is by doing it and experiencing and editing and stuff. So, yeah, hopefully it'll be fun. Yeah, the check engine lights on in this car case recently came on. Don't know why. Accordingly, when they were at AutoZone and they, we, my brother ran the car for the for the ECU, it said that the car's running too cold. So apparently, the Highlander is being more efficient, and the computer's telling it it's a bad thing. I I don't understand that. I'm like, if the car is being more efficient, then why is that a bad thing? I don't know. I just find it kind of weird. Like, if the car is running colder, that would actually be better for the engine. Well, to an extent, but especially when it's, like, hot outside, you know, and the car's running, you know, cooler, you get more performance out of it, I would think. I like to do this little, there's a little area up here I can do a 0 to 60 and once I turn this corner, because it's 55 on this road up here, well, not this one, I'm going to get out of the neighborhood, there's nobody in front of me, that is, which there shouldn't be, no, I'll just wait, but there's a giant ass bus there and the light's about to turn green for them, just a bitch. We'll, we'll just go slow. Turtle speed. Okay, folks. Let's see about the zero to sixty now, which is going to be a little difficult, but I'm going to roll out slowly. Gonna go start from a 10 or 20 roll, 15 roll. Yeah, she's got some power. I mean, it wasn't really a dead stop, but you can't really kind of do a dead stop when you're turning a corner. Got some power under her, though. People disgrace V6 is like, I don't understand. Like, why? Like, why? People, it's like you have two extra cylinders and a V, then a four banger. You know? I mean, it, it depends on how you're putting the power down, though. How you adjust the valve, or, you know, how you adjust your engine and shit, and how you use it. That's all gonna matter, you know? So. Yeah, this is all messed up here. I have no idea what is going on with this crap. See, this project right here, this road's been torn up since the middle to early to last year. It was like springtime, or just after springtime, when they started this project last year, and they haven't even, they've only got half the road done. It's like, okay. Yeah, this is ridiculous as hell. Freaking 
going to McDonald's, gonna get some food, going to work, 11.30, instead of usually I go in there, it's like 1.30 usually when I go to work, that's okay though, because that means you go in early, nope, psych, I go first. I don't like this hole. I have to go like this all the time. Go straight over it. Seems like I'm a kamikaze. Like, oh my god, he's going the wrong way! McDonald's! <sighs> no, that was really bad. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, well... There's another Sentra. Boy, my other friend Nick's got one of those. All right, kitties, what do we want for freaking lunch today? Five dollars. Let's go. Let go. Alright, could I have two McChickens and a large Dr. Pepper, please? Okay. And that'll do it. Okay. Bitch lied to me. Thought it was 326. It's 329. That means I gotta pull a four, extra four pennies out. That's a die. up thanks go ambulance go ambulance Where's my food? Where's my where's my chickens? Thanks. Let's go, bitches! Let's go, bitches! Go to work! <laughs> no, I can't race cars through this parking lot. There's too many holes. whoop a -doo. Mr. CRV. Honda counterpart has been spotted. No. Toyota all the way, yeah. No, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I was watching regular car reviews. That's pretty funny. I love regular car reviews. Their channel's so awesome. The guys there always make me laugh. Like, I always find out that it's funny how they do their stuff. Yeah. This road. Okay. Okay, G. Let's go, Jeeves. Camry, get the hell out of my way, even though you're part of you're part of the brother they're part of the loyalty blood. I still need you to move. It was, <laughs> it was like delay shift. It's like, <laughs> yeah, this road's really messed up. I don't know. And uh, we're gonna go down here and uh... drive down the street. Oh, there's chaos. Yeah, chaos is always a good time there. 
Got to go there last time. It was like, what, a couple days ago? Got to meet up with the owner and stuff. It's actually really cool. My friend introduced me to the owner and all the guys that were there working. He's like, you are known now. You have been chosen. <laughs> you know who works here now. I'm like, yeah, I know. Yeah, gloomy day out, though. It's supposed to be sunny, like, tomorrow. So... That'll be alright. Because <laughs> race car. really weird. Just got all quiet all of a sudden and I stopped talking. And I'm thinking to myself, what is there else to talk about in this vlog? I don't know. Except for the fact that I'm going to work now, so. Yeah, I know, it's gonna suck, but I'm gonna have to stop talking to you guys soon because I'll be almost there and then my boss will be like, what is that on your head? Why do you have a camera? <laughs> no. No, my bosses are cool. Sales representative walked in there the one day I had it on. Hey, <laughs> before I even got to the door, he locks the door and he just he goes up to the door, locks the door, shuts the door. The main he locks the main door outside the building, and then there's like a divider door in the center. So then he goes close to the door and locks it in the inside. And I was just laughing. When both of us just started laughing, like. I just started laughing, then he's coming out, and he's laughing, he's, he's just like, you know, this is hilarious. It's like, NSA, NSA, NSA. Red light! One of us. One of... No, it's a Corolla. Still Toyota, though. I don't know. I really want to Dodge Challenger, though. Really bad. I want to be, like, the part of the brotherhood of car meets. Somehow. But I just figured that's my favorite. I like that car. I just like it. I don't know. I'm still debating. I'd rather have that, but... I just, I don't know financially if it's going to work out or not, because I'm probably not going to have enough money, and I'm probably going to have to save for at least a year to maybe two years to put a down payment on it. It's so hard when you make money, and then you, you know, you got to use that money to survive, but then you also want to put it away, too, because you want to use it for, you know, other things, such as buying a car or buying a house or something. You always want to save for that, but then it's so hard to, because... You're trying to use that money to survive. I don't know. Oh, shit. Don't know what's going on. Yeah, I'm really close to this guy. I know. That is where I'm going to leave off. And that steeple on that church is really shining. Sunlight's just hitting it the right way. But anyway... I'm going to let you guys all go because I'm almost at work and that would be kind of awkward if I can put my work on YouTube. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog commentary thing that I try to put together for everybody. And if you like this type of stuff, let me know. And there's another charger, so I'll sign out with that. So you guys take it easy and I'll see you guys.